Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video in the countdown to SP7 series is about the importance of writing related subjects in sequence and keeping your notes once you're done writing. As I mentioned in my I passed two actuarial subjects in a row video, I wrote ST8 in September of 2018. I decided to keep my chapter summaries because I knew that I would need them for my general insurance fellowship exam, but I actually ended up getting a major advantage from this. The first nine chapters of ST8 are exactly the same as the first nine chapters of SP7. There are two other chapters on data and uncertainty that are sort of similar, but with slight differences. That's a total of 11 chapters where I don't need to do as much work as I need to for the rest of the chapters. And you guys have no idea how much of a difference this made for me. In the week that I decided that I was ready to write, um, the first assignment was due on the 24th of July and I had 10 days to do 10 chapters. Normally it would take me like two to three weeks to cover 10 chapters so I was so behind and that really helped me to catch up. The great thing is that a similar relationship exists between life insurance and health insurance. I understand the product chapters are very similar so it might actually speed up your revision time or your study time when you do them at the same time or one after the other. I just need to stress the need for you to be careful because of slight differences that might exist. So maybe you've covered the one chapter in the subject. You just need to make sure that there aren't extra items that relate to the other subject. Because if it's um, extra items in the first subject that you've done, that's good for you. It's stuff that you know but you're not going to need. But then if there's new stuff in the subject and you leave it out thinking that you've already covered the chapter, you're gonna have problems. Another wonderful advantage that you're gonna have is if there are any concepts that you've committed to your long-term memory, you might just be able to use the information to answer the question in your current subject. For example, the problems with using industry data. That's in almost all the specialist subjects, but we all know it was really born in CA1. So if you got Dr. Dunkey then, you'll still know it now. So the main message for today is that you might save yourself a lot of time by picking subjects that overlap. That's all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to keep up with the series, please subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so that you get a reminder each time I post a new video. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye!